Anschütz 9015 Sniper on the shooting range. Base State Red Wolf Heritage Huben K1 at the shooting range. Steyr Pro X. Servus, thanks for dropping in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Servus! Thanks for dropping in. I'm on the shooting range with my Anschutz 9015 Sniper Black Aluminum. I will take a few trick shots and then let's see if I hit them on the first try. But that's hard to imagine, honestly. I just want to give you some inspiration of what you can do with a rifle as precise as this one. For the setup, Anschutz 9015 Sniper in Germany exclusively at Jabolo.de. This is the aluminum version, by now you can also have it with a wooden stock. 2149 for aluminum, 1800 for the wooden one, which is an incredible price for a gun that shoots international championships. If you saw my review, it was almost 40 minutes long. You know that we were lucky to build this setup together with Anschutz, with some exclusive parts, some anodized just for this version, so it looks as cool as it does and is perfect for us hobby shooters or attic snipers. Today's setup, Sportsmatch ATP61 mount. It is a tilted mount, so I have a slight forward tilt. If you want to know how to set up your scope, just search sighting on ergandi.de slash yen and you will find my article about it. The scope is an Element Nexus, a dirty reticle, 5 to 20 times 50. A uh, Akutec WB4 bipod, Anschutz original silencer adapter and Donny FL Tanto silencer. And down here a UIT to Picatinny adapter. You'll find it all in the accessory of the rifle. I hope you'll enjoy this. Let's have some fun. Okay, I set up the target 25 meters or 82 feet. I'm shooting King Young's uh, domed 8.48 grain, 0.55 gram and 4.50 millimeters. If you buy an Anschutz sniper with us, you get a Anschutz shooting pattern from the technician shooting the mounted weapon. Now let's shoot some Tic Tacs. And that's the first one. Now the second one. It's windy now. I'm aiming a bit to the right and lower because it comes from the back. Oh no, now it comes from the front. Ah, close miss. Probably close to the left. A little more wind than expected. I'm aiming at the right end of the tic tac. Bam! Hit. <laughs> this is pretty cool to be honest. <laughs> okay, I'm preparing the next targets. I placed five tic tacs. I hope the wind won't blow them away so I can shoot them down. I luckily found them in an old bag. Nobody wants to eat them anymore, so I can shoot them. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, I hit it, but it took uh, the other three with it. One is still left, so I'll shoot this one now, and then I have to think of something new. Let's see if I hit it right away. Ah. Little too far on the right, lower right. Playing with the wind. Let's try again. Come on. And it's gone. <laughs> Crazy, right? 25 meters. I'll just leave everything as it is and move the camera so you see the distance. Here we are. And 
there's the target with my phone next to it and here's the rifle okay I put the cam back and search for some new targets okay next target is a match over 25 meters we'll find out if it works as well as before I'm aiming for the head what I can only recommend for this sniper rifle and if you want to shoot really small targets over a distance is a good scope it doesn't have to be a nexus for 1500 euro not at all but you should have a high zoom and a clear picture quality like with a helix uh, a good air max or a sidewinder if you have questions you can use uh, our scope guide at yabolo.de slash en or just send me a text i normally answer within days or even on the same day if i'm not on vacation or something I uh, don't want to promise things I can fulfill, but I'm always willing to help because shooting is so much fun with the right setup. Now let's see if I hit the match or if I'm just a show off. <laughs> let's go. Minding the wind again, can feel it all the time. Ah, I clipped it. Did you see it? I clipped it and it moved to the right, but it didn't fly away. Well, it only counts if it flies away. Now it's sloping. I'll aim straight for the head. Don't want to hit the, the clamp down there because it's still needed. A little to the left, control my breathing. And of course I shut up. Nice. <laughs> it's so amazing. What else can I say? Just crazy. 25 meters. I have something else which is even smaller. That's next. 25 meters, new target. Ignore both tic tacs left and right on the box. Uh, it's the target in the middle. It's some modeling clay I stole from my son. And on top is a rice corn. I will shoot the rice corn from 25 meters, 82 feet. Let's see if I hit it. The clay should stay in place. You see on a moving shadow that the turbine is still turning, there's wind. I'm aiming a bit to the right, wind is coming from the right front. Let's see if I hit it, let's go. Ah, I hit the clay, <laughs> damn, another try. Ah, shit, it was so close. Too far down left. Okay. A little more wind. I do my best. Second shot. And I'm aiming to the upper right. <laughs> uh, we'll take a close look if I really shot off the rice. Uh, I guess I clipped the clay a bit. Now, can you guys see that? Look at it. Half of the rice corn is still in there. You see it? The rice corn broke in the middle. And you see there is no damage on... Uh, nice glitter by the way <laughs> there is no damage on top i actually shot the rice corn in two the clay tipped over when it broke so i didn't shoot it out it just broke in half i'm i'm trying to get it out ah, i squeezed it in here it is can you see it half a rice corn <laughs> just crazy <laughs> yes <laughs> now i have nothing smaller left what should i shoot now i'll, I'll, I'll check ah, what i could try is 25 meter card split just splitting it lengthwise i think then we did everything i can imagine okay i went down on the floor to see if the card is angled right it should be all right. I, I can't even see it from here. So angle should be perfect. 
Otherwise, I can't get a full card split. I'll use the 20 times zoom, which probably is the minimum you should use for these small targets. I honestly wish for a 24 or even 32 times right now. And I'm aiming slightly to the right. No way. What's going on? I don't know if it if it's split, but I can't mount it better. I have to take a close look, but I hit the card and it turned around. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm out of targets and ideas. It probably wasn't standing perfectly straight, so the pellet didn't cut it in two. My dad's good old Biwa card set. Absolutely crazy, right? Okay, I'll shoot down both Tic Tacs and then I'm out of targets to show you. <laughs> Man, that's fun. Man, that's fun. <laughs> if I make it with two shots, I'll hang the gun over my bed tonight. Let's see what my wife will say. <laughs> okay, two more shots. Go, go, go. Number one. <laughs> Stay on the screen afterwards, I won't change a thing and I won't cut to show you it is still 25 meter distance. <laughs> okay, stay with me. So, zooming in, turn it a bit, zooming in. And here you can see it. It's a 14 times 14 target standing over there. Da vorne steht's. 25.5 meters with the rangefinder. Well guys, I said it in the review and I'll say it again. If you are searching for the most precise 7.5 joule air gun, from my point of view, you can stop searching. Tada! Anschütz 9015 sniper. We hit a match with two shots, two times. One shot clipped it, the other broke it. We shot the rice corn in two pieces, as you saw in the close-up, or check the photos at ergandi.de slash um, We split the card as good as possible, I'd say. It wasn't 100% straight probably, and the clamp was a bit too weak, but you see we made a half card split. Uh, we shot down the Tic Tacs, yeah, just crazy, just crazy. If you are in Germany, you can buy it at Jabolo.de. Let me know if you have questions or need equipment. Just check Jabolo. Um, if I can help you in any other way, just contact us and we will gladly help. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Ciao, servus, der Sekandi.